All right, let's say we have the number 46, and we're gonna to add to that, I'll put it on top here, 35. We're gonna add these together. Now we know how to add these. We can get an exact number. But what we want to do in this lesson is learn how to quickly estimate the answer without doing all the calculations. But still, because it's our first problem, let's go ahead and add it up exactly just to see what the number is. So six plus five, you know, is 11 because five plus five is 10 and this is one more, so it has to be 11. So we put a one and we carry a one to the next column. Three plus one is four, so this is four. Four plus four is eight. And so the exact answer is 81. That's the exact answer. So that's the real answer that we know is correct from math. Now let's see how to estimate it. What we wanna do is we wanna round the 35 either up or down, and then we want to round the 46 either up or down, and then we're gonna take those rounded numbers, and which are gonna be much easier to add together, and then we'll add those together. Okay, so the question is, how do we round it? Do we round it to the tens? Do we round it to the hundreds? For, for larger numbers, what do we do? So what you do is you look at both numbers that you have. And what you do is you round it to the, to the digit that is common to both numbers. So in this case, both numbers have two digits. So because they both have two digits, we just round it to the highest digit, in this case, the tens place, because both of these numbers have a tens place. If one of the numbers has a thousands, a thousands place and one of them has maybe a, a, a hundreds place, then we'll do something a little bit different. I'll show you when we get to one of those problems. Here, both of these numbers have a tens place. So we're gonna round it to the highest position we can. In this case, we're gonna round it to the tens. So if we round 35 to the tens place, this is the tens place, what would that number be? Well, we look to the number next door, it's a five. So what would be my choices? If I'm rounding 35 to the tens place, I can go up to 40 or I can go down to 30. But since the number next door is five, I have to round up to 40. So the rounded version of this is going up. And the rounded version of this, 46, if I'm rounding this number, this is bigger than five, so I round up to 50. So I round up to 50, because here my choices are going to 50 or going down to 40. I'm gonna round up to 50. And so these rounded versions, look how easy it is to, to add these. It's so much easier to add rounded numbers, because all you do is you say zero plus zero is zero, five plus four is nine. So if we're asking the question, estimate the sum of these numbers, estimate the sum, the first thing you do is you round them, the second thing you do is you add them up, and the estimate is 90. Now look, the real answer to this question is actually 81. 81 is kind of close to 90, but it's not exactly the same, but that's okay. Remember, an estimate is just to give you a, a ballpark idea of what the answer is. If you're walking through a department store and you wanna buy 10 items, it's gonna be hard for most of us to add those up in our head. But if you just round them up or down, then the numbers are much, much easier. So that's why we care about estimating things. So let's take a look at another example. Let's say that we have the numbers 57 and 51. And I tell you, estimate the following two numbers. Now I could add them up, I mean, and we might do that here this time, but, but let's not add them initially, let's just round them. First of all, both of these numbers have two digits, so because they both have two digits, we wanna round to the highest digit that both numbers have. So we're gonna round to the tens place, that's the five right here. We look next door and we see it's a seven, so our choices are to go up to 60 or to go down to 50, and since seven is bigger than, than five, we're gonna go up to 60, that's gonna be rounding up. This one, we're gonna to round to the same position, the tens place. Now the next door neighbor is a one, so that means we actually round down to a 50. We did these in the last lesson, okay? Now what we'll do is we'll add these versions. Zero plus zero is zero, six plus five. Again, you know five plus five is 10, and six is one more than that, so it has to be 11. So we put the one here and the one here for 11, and the estimate of this is 110. Now I'm not gonna do this for every problem, but let's just add the real numbers together just to see how close it is. Seven plus one is eight, and five plus five is 10. So the actual answer, the real answer is 108. But the estimate here, the estimate, the estimate here is 110. So is it exactly correct? No, that's not the point of estimating. Estimating is so that we can get a quick answer, very fast, without, uh, and have it pretty close, but not exact. That's what an estimate is. So for the rest of the problems, we're not gonna add the real numbers up. We'll just round the numbers and then we will estimate. Now let's take a look at something a little harder. What about 152? And we'll add to that 327. 
Now, obviously we could add them, but look at all those numbers, that's hard. Let's go ahead and just round it. Now, both of these numbers have three digits. So when we estimate, we want to always round both numbers to the same position. We always want to round them both to the same position since both of these numbers have three columns that have a hundreds column, right? We want to round both of them to the hundreds place. So this is ones, tens, hundreds, right? So what we want to do is round them both there. So this is the hundreds place. We can either go up to 200 or down to 100, but the five means we round up to 200. And this one, this is the hundreds place. We can go up to 400 or we can go down to 300. But since two is less than five, that means we round down to 300. And then we add these up. What do you get? Zero plus zero, zero, zero plus zero, zero, two plus three is five. And the answer is 500. That's an estimate. Is that exact? No, it's not exact. We could add these together, of course, and get the answer, but it would take longer and we would have a more exact answer. This is a good estimate. All right, now I want you to pay very close attention to this problem. 181 plus 42. This is the first problem where the numbers do not have the same number of digits. This number has two digits and this number only has all, all three digits. So you always, when you're estimating numbers and you're gonna round them and estimate them by adding them, you always want to round them to the same position, either the tens or the hundreds or even the thousands, but you wanna have the same rounding. Since this one only has two columns and this one has three, we can only round to the to the tens place. We can't round to the thousand to the hundreds place because this number doesn't even have a thousand uh, a hundreds number right here. So we round to the highest position that both numbers have. So we round this number to the tens place. That means we can go to 180 if we round down or 190 if we round up. And since one is less than five, we'll round down to 180. This one, we're rounding to the tens place also. We can go up to 50 or we can go down to 40, but since two is lower than five, we're gonna round down to 40. And we stack them up and add them. All right, so what do we have? Zero plus zero is zero. Eight, and we count up, nine, 10, 11, 12. And we have to put, carry the one right here. And then one plus one is two. And so the estimate for this addition is 220. Is it exactly the same as, as this one here? No, let's, let's go ahead and just, Add it up just to see. One plus two is three. Eight plus four is nine, 10, 11, 12. And then we carry the one and then we have a two right here. So the answer, the real answer is 223, but the estimate was 220. You see, it's pretty close, but look how easy this addition is. It's much, much easier to do. All right, we're gonna pick up the pace just a little bit. We're not gonna go like really fast, but we're gonna pick it up just a little bit so that we can get some practice. 4,679, we'll add to that 578, 578, okay. These numbers have different number of digits. Some have, one of them has four digits, one of them has three digits. So we cannot round them to different positions, we have to pick one. We pick the highest number that both numbers have, the highest column that both numbers have. Both numbers have a third column, so we round here, and that means we have to round to the this is ones, this is tens, this is hundreds place. We round here. So what it means is this number, when we round, we're rounding to this position. Seven is bigger than five. So because of that, it's 4,700 when we round up. The six turns into a seven. And then here, we're rounding to this position. This is also bigger than five, so we round up to 600. And so then we add them up. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus zero is zero. What is seven plus six? You go up eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. You land on 13. So you put a three, carry a one, four plus one is five. And the answer we get is 5,300. Is it exact? No, of course it's not. It's an estimate. That's the whole point. All right, next problem. Let's take a look at 457 and we'll add to that 603, and I tell you, estimate the addition of these two numbers. Well, they have the same number of digits, so we can round to the hundreds place in both positions. We look at this one, we're rounding this number. We look next door, it's five or bigger, so this means it has to go up to 500. Now we do the same thing here, this is a six. We look next door to decide it's much less than five, so it stays at six, and it goes to 600. So we round this one up to 500, this one we round down to 600. Now these numbers are very easy to add. Zero plus zero is zero, 
zero plus zero is zero. Five plus six, we already said several times, is 11. We know that five plus five is 10, so five plus six must be 11, and the answer is 1,100. All right. So hopefully you're getting the hang of this, but it's really important to do a lot of problems. So let's take a look at the next one. 147 plus 97. Went around these. Now these have different number of digits, but we have to round to the same position and we can only round the highest number that both, uh, the highest column that both of these numbers have. So we have to round to the tens place. So what do we have here? If we round this number to the tens place, we look at the four and we say, let's take a look next door. It's bigger than five. So we round this up to a five, up to 150. And this one is interesting. It's 97 and you're rounding to the tens place. So you really can only go up to 100 or go down to 90. Those are your only two choices. So since seven is so much bigger than five, we round up to 100 because really you count by tens, right? 70, 80, 90, or 100. The only choice is 90 or 100, so we round up to 100. Zero plus zero is zero, five plus zero is five, one plus one is two, and the estimated answer is 250, right? Great, let's take a look at a really big problem. Let's take a look at 1,572, and we'll add to that 3,400, 92. It looks very complicated, but it's not so complicated because we see we have four columns. So this is the ones, the tens, the hundreds, and here's the thousands. We always want to round to the highest column we can that both numbers actually have. Both of them have thousands columns, so we have to round to the thousands place. So you have to decide that. The problem won't tell you where to round. You have to figure it out. Everything has, every, both numbers have four columns, so we round to the fourth column. So because of that, we look at this number. This is the number we're going to round, but next door it's a five. That means we round up, so this becomes 2,000. We look at this number to decide if it goes up or down. We look next door. It's less than five, so we round down to 3,000. And we add them up. The zero plus the zero is zero. The zero plus the zero is zero. Zero plus zero is zero. Two plus three is five. And if you don't remember that, start with two and go three, four, five. And so the estimated answer is 5,000. 5,000. Good problem. All right, now take a look at this one. This is a little tricky. 1,732, and we're gonna to add to that 432, and I just tell you estimate this addition. So the first thing you have to do is decide how many columns am I going to round to? But since th these numbers have a different amount of columns, um, this has four digits and this has three digits, we can only round to the third digit, the hundreds place. So let's round this number to the hundreds place, that's the seven. So it can either go up to 800 or down to uh, 700. So because it's a three next door that's less than five, we round down to 1,700. Now this one, we round, we round it to the same position, the hundred spot. So it can either go up to 500 or down to 400, but next door, it's less than five, so it goes down to 400. And now we add zero plus zero is zero, zero plus zero is zero, seven plus four, go up, eight, nine, 10, 11. So put a one here and carry a one. One plus one is two, and so the estimated answer here is 2,100. All right, great, I only have one more problem and then we'll be done. Let's take a look at the following problem. Let's take a look at 3,541, and we'll add to that 1,987. And we want to estimate the addition. So both of these numbers have four digits. That means we round both of them to the same position, which is the thousands place. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So that means when we figure this out, we're gonna round this guy to this position here. To decide, it can either go up to 4,000 or down to 3,000. This determines that. It's five or above, so it goes up to 4,000. And this one, rounding to the same position, it's a nine next door, so it has to go up to 2,000. Now look how easy it is to add these. Zero plus zero is zero, zero plus zero is zero, zero plus zero is zero, and four plus two is five, six and the answer you get is an estimate of 6,000. So never forget what you're doing. 
in, when we talk about estimating numbers or estimating addition, we're not trying to get an exact number. We're just trying to get a quick answer that's faster than doing all of the addition in detail. And the answer that you get is always going to be just a general ballpark. It's gonna be close, but it's not gonna be exact at all. Uh, but it is faster to calculate, so sometimes it's actually nice to uh, estimate things uh, because it's faster to do it. So what I'd like you to do is practice these yourself, make sure you're getting the right answers, then follow me on to the next lesson. We'll get a little bit more practice with estimating addition, and then later on we'll also be estimating subtraction. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.